What's up guys, it's Shane O, Shane and Mac Outdoors. How's everybody doing today? Uh, yesterday, or not yet, I don't know if it was yesterday. I'm not sure when it's got uploaded, but uh, the last review we did was on a Dan's Upland Briar Jacket, or Briar Coat, excuse me, fleece line number 402, model number 402. And today, guys, we're going to work on a little review here. Uh, just a quick 1 to 10, what I think about it. Uh, Here's the other Dan's Briar Proof coat. Sportsman, I think it's called. I'll have the model number up. It's got this zip pocket here. Under here is another zip pocket. Same on this side, zip pocket. And the big shell holders here, guys. Check this out. It's got, holds the shells down in there. Okay, and in the same situation, the game bag uh, is way up here on the side, guys. Check this out way up here on the side so you can put your game in from the front very simply very very simply uh hold on we're out of focus there yeah so right here slide your game right in here it goes right into the big bag on the back which i'll uh, have some videos up of that in just a second part two of this uh just walking out of the woods today guys did a little quick hunt dog looked really good he made four trees i missed three squirrels two was going out as i was coming in that means when you're walking into the tree they take off running I shot a little too far away, but still should have got him, but I didn't. Uh, so he's pretty mad at me right now, I think. But, and we're hunting some pretty rough ground as well. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, this coat, man, I like this one better than the other one. I wish they did the other one. I like the other material and the way the other one looks better than this one. But the reason being is, this is one of the main things, like I said about the last one, the 402. Didn't have this, guys. And it didn't have that one right there, which I hooked my dog to. It's very sturdy. You can hook the keys to it. You can do whatever. And this one has all these extra pockets here, here, here. All right. Uh, we're coming into next. Uh, I'm going to take this thing off here, lay it on my deck where you can see it, show you some more options and some more things about it, and tell you what I think about it. Uh, part two, here we come. Here's the shotgun holder pockets, guys. Give you a little closer look. Here's the side pocket here it has zip up also has another one up under here another one on this side this is how big the pockets are and they're actually lined like you could put game in them it's got the two d loop snaps uh, to hold your garments or coon squ squalors or whatever else the ykk zippers big heavy duty zippers the uh this one's number 423 the other one's a 425 there's the fleece lining guys very soft and durable we're gonna both the uh, shoulder pads for right and left handed shooters and we'll switch it around here there's the upland one if you're interested in that look this is a 402 model it's older it don't have the d-rings on it but if you'll notice with both of these jackets guys you open up here and your game goes into that back pocket by just dropping it in here up front which is uh, super nice. Here's the back. Show you that. Here's the, how it's lined. Very nice. You don't bleed through. You can wash that very easily. It comes off there and in the bottom so you can wash it. Uh, it's uh, got the extra space here and material with the stitch in here for extra uh, lateral movement. So there you go, guys. Uh, the pins for the hoodie that goes on the back so if you're looking for a nice winter coat upland hunting squirrel hunting uh coon hunting anything like that guys these dan's 420 models are the way to go what's up guys i forgot to do an outro on this video so i'm just going to wrap one up real, real quick at the house here uh the dan's 423 25 425 402 all the jackets the same thing just have different little things different years made uh, different material, but anyway, they're a great coat, especially for late winter. When it's mid weather, you don't want to wear these coats, they're a little too warm. They're great for late winter and cool weather, uh, cold weather. Uh, so, go out and get you one, guys. These are one of the few things I would say a 10 out of a 10 on my reviews. Uh, this is just a quick review. I hope you like it. Stay tuned for more content. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you're looking for a good winter coat, definitely go out and grab one of these. Talk to you later.